The Oxford 80 Plus reactive ion etch tool is located in Bay 2 inside the Quattro Nanofab. To use the tool, you will need to complete the training for the tool and to reserve the tool in the iris system. The tool can process any sample size up to 8 inches in diameter. Also, you must be in the lab at the tool while it's running. You may not leave the lab while the tool is running unless there is an emergency such as a fire or toxic gas alarm. You may not, under any circumstances, process any samples with high vapor pressure materials. Some examples of these materials are listed here. If your sample has any of these materials on it, it will contaminate the chamber, and if that happens, the tool will have to be taken down for cleaning, which puts it down for everyone, including you. These materials may be etched in the tool if they are very well cured. And if you have any questions about whether or not you can safely use the Oxford 80 to etch your sample, please contact QNF staff at this email address. These materials are allowed in the tool. Although photoresist is allowed in the tool, you must not use the Oxford 80 to strip the bulk of your photoresist. To do that, please request training on either the Anatech Barrel Asher or the Jupiter 2 Plasma Etcher. The user before you should have run a chamber clean at the end of their run. You should first check to make sure that they did, in fact, do this. Click Process, Log View, and go all the way to the bottom. And the second to last entry should say Chamber Clean. This time, the previous user ran it, but let's see how to do this if they didn't run the chamber clean. Click System, Pumping, Stop, Evacuate, and click Cancel. This will make the tool think that there's no wafer inside the chamber, which is required to run the chamber clean. Click Process, Recipes, Load, hit yes, Chamber Clean O, OK, and click Run. This chamber clean will take about 10 minutes to run. Remember, you only have to do this before your run if the user before you did not. If they did do this, you may continue to the next step of this procedure without running this 10 minute chamber clean. Now we can start running our process. The tool is always kept under vacuum when not in use, so we need to vent it so we can load our sample. Click stop, vent, and wait until it finishes. Now that the chamber is vented, we can load our sample. Flip this switch and hold these two hoist buttons. Load your sample and lower the chamber. Click Stop, Evacuate, you can type in something if you'd like, and click OK. Now we'll set up our process and run it on our sample. Click Process, Recipes, Load, Yes, find the recipe that you'd like to run among this big list, and click OK. You'll want to change the etch time to suit your process. Right-click over the etch step, click Edit Step, and change the time. You'll see it here in hours, minutes, and seconds. 
and click OK. And run it. Check out the plasma glow in the chamber while your process is running. Now our process is done. Click Accept, vent the chamber, and take your sample out. You can run more samples now if you'd like, but if you're finished with your run, leave the chamber empty and we'll proceed to the chamber clean. Lower the chamber, and evacuate the chamber. If you're going to run the chamber clean, click Cancel. If you're going to run more samples, click OK. To run the chamber clean, click Process, Recipes, Load, Yes, Chamber Clean O, OK, and click Run. It will run for about 10 minutes. Once the chamber clean is done, click Accept, and you're done. At this point, you may log out of the tool in Iris and leave the tool. If you run your process and you see this error message, Gas4 Tolerance Failed, it's usually because you are not logged in in Iris. Please double check to make sure that you are logged in to the tool through Iris. This work was performed at the Singh Center for Nanotechnology at the University of Pennsylvania, a member of the National Nanotechnology Coordinated Infrastructure NNCI, network, which is supported by the National Science Foundation. Thank you.